Teaching middle school isn't an occupation, it's a calling. For Vanessa Hinaosa, it's also a little attitude mixed with art, since she's the choir director for Coakley Middle School in Harlingen. This is her eighth grade girls' choir. By the looks of Vanessa's head, you've probably already guessed she's engaged in an epic struggle. Indeed, she's fighting cancer, breast cancer. Being able to be here is part of the reason that I think I'm doing so well because I can be here and be me and not worry about everything else. So. Once she started chemotherapy, Miss Hinaosa decided to bite the bullet and shave her head rather than have her hair fall out one clump at a time. Now she's gearing up for the next stage of recovery, surgery. I'm probably going to have to take some time off. It's a pretty big surgery they're planning to do. So, but um, I will definitely be returning as soon as I can and to, to be here with the kids and you know, do my job, I love my job. And this job loves her. During this interview, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. These girls aren't being taught so much as they're being inspired. I love her so much and she is the best choir director I have ever had. And she is a strong woman. Yes, because she's strong and I know that she's gonna make it through it during the surgery. If you're wondering who is a breast cancer survivor, just look around. Right now in the United States, more than two and a half million women are considered breast cancer survivors. The American Cancer Society's website statistics show more than a quarter million women diagnosed with breast cancer in 2011. It is the second most common cancer in women and the second deadliest after lung cancer. Most shocking is 13% of all women will be diagnosed with some form of breast cancer at some point in their lives. The good news is the survival rate is on the rise and Vanessa's outlook remains on the rise. She hasn't missed a beat since her diagnosis and is getting her young ladies ready for this year's choir competition. Um, I hope they know I'm gonna be okay. And I hope that, that they can think that if I could do this, they can do something similar. If anything like this were to ever happen to any of them or someone in their family, that they can just keep on going. By the looks of things, this choir director stands a pretty good chance of beating breast cancer, giving her plenty of time to teach more young ladies how to reach the high notes and deal with the low notes. In Harlingen, I'm Brian Hale, Action 4 News.